guys, this is Eileen from Worldwide Dolls, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my American Girl dollhouse. This dollhouse is a little less than six feet tall, um, because I'm almost six feet tall and it's a little shorter than me, so I don't know the exact measurements. And I believe it's about four feet, um, long. So just so you have a sense of the scale, I'm going to start on the roof just right now before I move the camera to show you the other rooms, because the roof is just storage. As you can see, we have the Christmas tree, the pool... Um, some, a drum set, and some other supplies that we usually use, like, in different seasons. And then we have the suitcases up there. I don't know if I already said that. But that's just what we keep on the roof, as well as some other seasonal things that we don't always have in the house. This first floor that I'm going to show you, which is the top floor, and as, you, as you'll see, this is probably the most detailed of all the rooms, because it has the best light from my window, which is totally across the room, so I have to be very careful when I'm doing photos to get the right amount of light. This room has most of the stuff in it because of that, and it's the best for photos. So, let's take a closer look. This half of the room belongs to Zyra. Zyra has this board on the wall that has pictures of her and her best friend, Sade, when they did a photography camp together. And those are some Polaroid pictures that they took. We have an Aladdin Disney poster because that is Zyra's favorite movie. She has her little binder that says her name on it, and she keeps little notes in here for school. Behind Zyra, there is this little paper that has important dates of where she's going these next couple months. It's kind of like a calendar. She has this poster with her name on it, and this poster that her friend Felicity gave her says, I love sea monsters, and her friend got it when she went to visit Scotland. And then up here, we have a Harry Potter poster that has Hogwarts on it. Zyra's bed is actually a shelf that we got at Goodwill. I was there with my cousin Ella, and we found this, and thought it would make a great doll bed, because I was one doll bed short at the time. So, on the bed, this is a bedding that's reversible from the bunk bed that I will show you in the next room. And then this little comforter is just from a old baby cradle I had when I was younger. On the bed, she has her Felicity doll, Elizabeth's doll. It's not the Elizabeth mini doll, but it's the, um doll that Elizabeth had when Elizabeth and Felicity were still being produced by American Girl. Then she has one of Kirsten's kittens, who we just like to pretend is a stuffed animal. Um, the other cat is actually a real cat, but that is just a stuffed animal. Next to her desk chair over here, she has her laptop that me and Julia made. Now let's go into a little more detail on the shelf above the bed. On this shelf above the bed, she has a trophy from when she did a dog show with Cecile, and their dog won Best in Show. She has a painting that Sage made for her, some little candles. Down here, she has a birdhouse and a little hedgehog figurine. She has some yarn and nail polish, as well as a little cookbook. She also has a birdcage and a whole bunch of books and notebooks that come with the mini dolls and that are for school. Julia actually got me that birdcage, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little turtle back here that I actually painted, but we like to pretend that Zyra painted it. But Zyra is very interested in art. Zyra's desk is actually a table from the Curly Q day bed that is now retired. She has this chair that we got at a sale a very long time ago, but I spray painted it gold to go a little better with the room. It was originally actually a dark red color. This is a little salesman sample of a little Singer sewing machine that actually does move up and down. I don't know how well you can see it, but... This will turn. It's actually stuck right now, so it would sit with the fabric on it. But that actually belongs to Venus, who shares the other half of the room, but it's just on that table because I thought it looked nice there. On the wall above their desks and tables, there are these two posters that talk about, like, love, and they're just gold-themed. And I got them at TJ Maxx with a little set of, I believe, six of them, and I think three of them are in the house right now. The top of this table has a little art bin full of art supplies. She has a little drawing pad that we got when we went to Chicago. A pencil case, which I don't think actually... Oh, it does have little pencils in it right now. This pencil case is from Kirsten's school set. She has this little paint set that also came from Chicago. And this mini crayon set that we got when we went up north last summer. Then she has a roll of washi tape, a blue highlighter, and I keep it all in this little bin right here that came from the dollar store and is actually meant for lockers. 
Under that, on top of the dresser, there is a little crocheted doily that we got from Michael's. I got that with my grandma one time. And then in this little fox-shaped dish, which is from the dollar bins at Michael's, she has a whole bunch of colored pencils. The art supplies in this room belong to Zyra, because Zyra is the one who does art. There's also a little cup of pencils and small little paintbrushes. And a little perfume bottle that came with the vanity. In the little cabinets, this cupboard actually came from my grandpa, and it has drawers, and it's supposed to be a jewelry box. There are some little stickers. That is Venus's camera. They have some clay, some sunglasses... Um, I believe that's Venus's phone. And two more paint sets, because I have a lot of those. There's also a little fake textbook that we made in here. And here is a little mini moleskin journal that belongs to Venus. And then here we have Sage's book, because Sage was in here working on their homework together earlier. This mirror that's on top of this little dresser came from the Curly Q Daybed set. And it goes with the little vanity table desk that you saw on the other side of the room. It has this little lamp that came from Dollar Tree, and it actually turns on. So that's a cute little accessory that we sometimes use in photos. And it was only a dollar, so I keep meaning to go back and get more, but I haven't yet. Julia made this little keyboard out of a printout, and it came with one of the American Girl sets, and she gave it to me for my birthday. This little music... Um, box. Looks like a dresser, and it's also a jewelry box. It also just has some random things in here, and when it's wound up, when you open this drawer, it plays music. I got it at a garage sale with my grandma. On the floor of this room, there is a rug that used to be pink, as you can see on this side. And we actually painted it. Me and my brother did that. And it's just gold now, and you can still see the colors through it, so it kind of brings the color into the room. And it actually looks really cool. Now moving on to Venus's room. Venus is the musical one. She has this guitar at the end of her bed, as well as her little binder, which I'm not going to pull out because the guitar will fall over. But that just has her name on it and some papers in it. Um, these are actually Zyra's boots, but Zyra doesn't have any room at the end of her bed to keep them. The two brown ones belong to Zyra, and these little black ones belong to Venus. On the wall, Venus has this sign that looks like a galaxy that says her name on it, and Venus is actually um, over on the other side of my room, so you're not going to see her in this tour. She has a little sign that says her full name on it as well, just like Zyra does. And she has this little sign because Venus really does like Disney and traveling, and she went to Disney once. She didn't actually go to Disney, but for the doll purposes, we're going to pretend she went to Disney. And that is why she has that little It's a Small World poster right there. Or maybe we can say that Zyra gave it to her or something, because Zyra actually did go to Disney with me. She has a little important dates thing, just like Zyra does on her half of the room. Over here, she has one of the other posters I was talking about from the little gold love set from TJ Maxx. It's actually coming off. I should probably fix it. She has a Star Wars poster, a Minecraft poster, an Alice in Wonderland poster, a the blue umbrella poster. I know you can't see these that well. Hold on, I'll move over. As I was saying, Venus has a little poster from the Blue Umbrella, which is a little short movie that was showing in theaters, like, as a preview type thing, and it's a little five or ten minute clip, and Venus is very into filmmaking, so she really enjoyed that, and it has some, it's a very cute little film, so I have that little picture. She has a little poster from Up, and a little poster from Alice in Wonderland, because those are her two favorite Disney movies. Venus's bed is actually the bottom bunk from the triple bunk bed, and it doesn't actually fit in the house as a triple bunk bed, so that's why we have it separated. This is from one of the little beds that you get if you have the hotel package when you go to the American Girl store. And on here she has a cat ear hat, a jean jacket from Sophia's, a necklace, a little shirt, and some leggings. And that is because that's her outfit that she's going to be wearing later, and she has it laid out on her bed. This sheet is also from the bunk beds and matches Zyra's. The pillow is from the Curly Q day bed, and this larger pillow is from the bunk bed, just like Zyra's is. She has a little Build-A-Bear that came from McDonald's, a little sock monkey that I believe came from Barnes & Noble, and a little Wedkins dolphin stuffed animal on her bed. Now we're going to move down one floor and look at this bedroom. This bedroom is shared between, um four of the dolls, and I'm actually going to take them out because they're kind of blocking the view. So I'm going to take out Kirsten and Cecile right now, just so you can see it better. So we also have Sage and Felicity in this room. Felicity is over here.
This half of the room belongs to Sage and Felicity, because they are sisters. Felicity is a couple years older than Sage, and also Nikki is their sister, but Nikki has the room down below. This little yellow blanket should actually be up here on the bed, and Julia made that for me as a beach towel, but since they don't have their pool set up right now, I just have it in the room. There's also this little sewing machine toy that I'm not really sure why it's in there, but I thought it looked kind of cute. It's actually for smaller scale dolls. So this is a trundle bed. This is the curly Q day bed I was telling you about upstairs that the desk and the pillow goes with. So they just have the trundle bed under here. I don't think it actually has sheets on it right now, and I don't actually pull it out. But if I ever wanted to put all the dolls in beds for a video, I could do that. This top bunk belongs to Sage, and the bottom bunk belongs to Felicity, or the other way, really. It doesn't matter. So, they have a cello case over here, which belongs to Zyra, but Zyra doesn't have a lot of room for it in her room, and Felicity also plays the cello, so they both just kind of shared that um, to practice at home so they don't have to bring their cellos home from school all the time. On the bed, this blanket is actually kind of special. It came from my friend Sarah's grandma. When her grandma passed away, she gave me a blank this blanket along with a couple other things to put in the house and that is why that's on that bed instead of the original sheet it came with. So Sage is sitting on here as well as Mini Molly, Mini Kaya, Mini Addie, Mini Kit, and Mini Marie Grace. So we have quite a collection of mini dolls on that bed. And if you can see the posters, we have one from Bambi, one from Little Mermaid, one from Lion King, one from Lilo and Stitch, one from Tarzan, one from Lady and the Tramp, one from Monsters, Inc., and one's from The Princess and the Frog, because Felicity and Sage are very big Disney fans, and that is why they have all those posters. On the floor of this room, there is this little rug that my grandma crocheted for me out of blue yarn, so it would go with the color scheme of the room. In this shelf, we have two of the little um, mini dolls. We have Special Edition Kirsten and Original Kirsten. Original Kirsten's actually missing one of her boots. I'm not sure where that went off to. But they're just up there because they are Kirsten's little mini me dolls. And then on the bottom floor we have Meatloaf with a little crocheted rug bed that my grandma made. And this little shelf actually came from Michael's. And sometimes I have it set up as a mini doll house, but right now it's just set up as a shelf. I should probably mention that Meatloaf and Sprocket are both Cecile's dogs. On the end of this top bunk, this is actually Kirsten's bed, even though Felicity has her sign there. It just didn't fit on the other side of the room, and Kirsten doesn't actually have a good sign that matches the room color scheme. So we have these two little things that came with the bunk beds. The bottom one doesn't really have anything in it. The top one has Zyra and Sage's necklaces that they made at camp. I'm not sure why they're in this room, but they are. And we have a little magazine and a bow in the holder up there. This sign, as I said, is actually Felicity's, but the bunk belongs to Kirsten. She has this blanket that is actually a handkerchief that we got at Joanne's. My grandma bought that. My grandma does a lot of doll stuff. She's the same grandma that made the rugs and um, got me the things at the garage sale. She is likes dolls and is very into that as well. Um, this bunk or this pillow came from the Curly Q day bed, and this little puff ball my grandma gave me the yarn to make, but I made this as a little hat pom pom once and actually ended up using it as a pillow. The bottom bunk, and I should mention these bunk beds are retired from American Girl. This sleeping bag came with Macy, who is my MIM doll that I customized, and she actually came in that sleeping bag, so that's on the end of the bed. This is the reversible side of the sheets for the bunk bed, and this pillow is from the Curly Q Day Bed, and the pillow back here is just the blue one from the bunk bed. Uh, you can't see it, but Cecile has a sign in there as well, because that's Cecile's bunk. Under the bed, there's a little trash and recycling container that we made out of a little Nutella um, to-go container. And it just has, like, some little storage of, like, little the little cookies I made out of clay in there because they're not in the kitchen right now. But that's what that for, that's from. And then back here, I'll move Sprocket so you can see. There is a little bin that matches the one upstairs, and this one has um, little magazines and a headband in it. There's also a little lunch box back here that came with a candle. Next to the bed, we have a little continuation of, Felic or of Felicity and Sage's Disney posters. This one is from Snow White, and this one is from the Aristocats. We have this little um, dress form that came from TJ Maxx or Michaels, maybe. Um, I think it came from TJ Maxx, but I also sell them at Michaels. And that just has a little dress on it that I put together. Next to it, there is this little Girl Scouts backpack that belongs to, um, I think it belongs to Cecile. Sorry, you couldn't see that. And then 
Down here, also under the bed, this skateboard is Sage's. And it's actually a little glass thing, so I don't just have it out for that reason. This little table came from a garage sale. My grandma got it for me, and so did this trunk. This trunk has some special clothes in it that I've made or collected for Venus. When Venus is in the process of being customized, um, I got all those clothes ready and made them and prepared them for her. So I just keep all her special clothes in that trunk so I know where they are. Moving down a floor to the last floor of the house, which is the bottom floor. Over here we have the sign that still says, Welcome Home Venus, and it just has a coffee thing and some random stuff, as well as that closet that I made in an old video that we had on the other channel, but it wasn't that great, so I think I took it down. In this floor, we have this little thing that was actually, it kind of looks like Samantha's old retired side table like from her garden set, but it was a taller chair that we took apart, and it came from Goodwill. And it has just a little thing of hot chocolate on it that is made out of clay and a little um, doily. There's also a little hat tree that came from a local like reenacting fair that they were selling it at. And I bought it for, I think, $2. It has some hats. I made the hat and my grandma made the scarf. Back here we have a kitchen that I made out of a cardboard box. And it's actually been redecorated pink to fit the house because the old paper was ripping. There's a window from an American Girl set, and the rug on the floor, I really love this rug, my grandma made that out of the yarn, and it matches the rug that Meatloaf is sleeping on above. There's just some food on the countertop, and this other half of the room is the bedroom, I should probably divide it, but I don't have any cardboard right now to do that. So, we have Nikki, who is playing with Missy, Kirsten's cat, but she just kind of belongs to everyone. This room is just very pink themed. The first bed is Nikki's and the second bed is Violet's and they both have little signs that I made above their bed that say their names on them. The little curio cabinet in the middle of the bed my grandpa got for me for Christmas and on top of it it has some loom sets, a lunchbox, and a little eraser iPhone. The bedding on the first bed is from what it came with as well as so is the pillow in the second bed. And the beds are the ones I was talking about that came from the hotel set from when we went to Chicago the first time I ever went there. And the blanket at the end of the bed, my um, grandma actually had made for me from someone she knows who makes quilts. And I actually had a nightgown, I believe, that was the same flowery pattern. And there's these little slippers that came from my doll's life. As well as they keep their silverware in that cabinet, which is why there's a thing of forks in there, if you can see that. Violet is over here doing her schoolwork. And this blanket, I have no idea where it came from, but I had it when I was little. And I have a few of them, actually. Then there is a little flower pillow that we made out of yarn, and a little, um, unicorn thing, I don't know what they're called. And, um, there's one more section I'm going to show you, and I think that's it. The last thing I want to show you is this little set that goes up, and it's supposed to be, I believe, a CD holder. My brother found it just a couple weeks ago at a garage sale, and I really love it. I didn't know what I was going to use it for at first, but I actually really like it. So I have two backpacks here. This one is from Claire's. I always get questions on this on my packing video. It is from Claire's. They don't make it anymore, but they sell different ones. So don't ask me where this is from because I get so tired of ask answering that question on the other video. And this one is a holder that is, I believe, from a garage sale. So I can't really tell you where that one's from. So I just use this ladder as a shelf. The top has a crown on it. And then this little bin is from our um, shower when we got a new shower thing. Or maybe it's from the sink. I think it's from the sink that had, like, the sponges in it. But I washed it out when we got a new one because this one broke. And it's just kind of wedged in here. It's not, like, attached. There's a notebook and this little folder that says appointments. And this sign from their old room that just says Violet and Zyra's names on it. But I keep, like, the, the signs from the old rooms in case I ever put them back in those arrangements. There's a little tiny mini knitting loom down here that I got for making socks. But I never actually ended up using it. I don't like it that much. There's Julie's retired styling head. This little cabinet down here came from Dollar Tree, and we just keep all of the hair stuff in the bottom one, as well as the earrings in the top one, in the jewelry. We have a hairbrush and a hair pick. There's another hair pick somewhere in the house. I just probably skipped over it. And then on this bottom thing, we have this little toiletry case from our generation, a little spool of pink ribbon. This doesn't really have any rhyme or reason to it. It's just like pink stuff in general. This little jewelry box that actually has some blueberries in it from the restaurant stop motion we did on the old channel. I'm in the process of uploading all the things from the old channel, all the stop motions. Um, I just had to re-edit them 
for this channel. There's the other hair pick, it fell behind there. And there's also this bag that came with one of Macy's sets when Macy actually had a defect and they sent me a couple free things from MIM. MIM doesn't make dolls anymore, but that's from a few years ago. And there's a little folder and some tape. So, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this dollhouse. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. You can always leave video requests down below and we try to do as many of them that we get as possible. So if you have any, please leave them there. And I'm sorry for this long video, but I wanted to go into detail so I wouldn't have questions about where I got everything. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!